Hey guys, it's Mary, and today I'm going to be giving you tips and tricks on applying for the Disney College program. So you've decided to apply for the Disney College program, but you don't know where to start. Well, the first thing you're going to want to do is make a resume. It may not ask for one, but there's always going to be a place for you to upload it on your profile. It's also going to make it a much smoother process. If you don't already have a resume, then you're in college and you don't have a resume and you're going to need one in the next year or two anyways. So you might as well go ahead and make one now. First you're going to want to put down your work experience. Any volunteer work that you do, maybe your work study, if you babysit, stuff like that. Everything that goes here is going to show what kind of work ethic that you have, even if it wasn't an official job. This is also going to show Disney what skills you have and this will help them place you in a role that's right for you. Speaking of the roles, you're going to want to research your roles. I've been in merchandising in the past and this second program where I start in May, I'm going to be merchandising again. So my criteria is mostly retail, but uh, there are so many positions out there for you for you to know what you want and they're going to ask you to rank them later, so you're going to want to do your research on them. When you're doing your research, look for the keywords in that job description. This can be the action words, the words that stand out to you, or key phrases. You can work into your resume so that it kind of dings the computer system that, oh, she's got what we're looking for, he's got what we're looking for. They're going to want you to rank your roles from a high priority from high interest to no interest. And in order to do that, you need to do your research on the roles. Figure out which one really suits your best interests. And you're going to want to put those at like high priority, and then the ones that you have no interest in whatsoever, do not want to even be considered for, you need to put no interest. Even if you put it at low interest, you can still be considered for the role. So for me, I'm not a strong swimmer, so I put no interest on lifeguarding. And once you've ranked your roles, you're pretty much ready to submit your application. So when you submit it, you're going to be waiting to see if you get a web-based interview. Now the web-based interview is basically this big personality test for Disney to see what kind of person you are. Are you a good communicator? Are you a... do you have a strong work ethic? Are you a problem solver, a critical thinker? Those are the kind of people that Disney's looking for. And a lot of the roles are going to require you to be that engager kind of person. That very bubbly, outwardly Disney person. But some roles are very, very safety oriented, and a lot of those require a more driver kind of personality. And so there's going to be roles for everybody and for every personality, so you want to be put with the one that fits you best, not just the answers that are going to get you the job. Which is why I did not film my web-based interview either time, because my answers are not always going to match your answers. I will say that you're going to want to put either, like, strongly agree or strongly disagree, and very little middle answers, uh, because the more positive you are about the answers, the better. However, if the question was worded in a way where it was like, well, sometimes, and then I would kind of put it in the middle. But really having those strong answers is what's going to let you stand out more on those web-based interviews. Once you pass the web-based interview, they're going to want to interview you in person, give you a phone interview. And so I'm going to make a whole video just on the phone interview, just because I think that that's going to be what's going to help you guys the best. These first ones are just like, hey, you need to apply, and if you get in, great. If you don't, try again, because I didn't get in on my first try. I hope this helped, and I'm sending you guys all the pixie dust and thoughts and prayers on your DCP journeys. If you liked this video, give me a big thumbs up. If you have any questions about the application process, give me a comment down below and I'll try my best to answer it. And as always, stay positive, stay classy, and read on. 
Bye!